My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to John Wick X. At the top of this video, I would like to note that this series is sponsored by Good Shepherd Entertainment. You can find a link at the top of the description down below to the Steam store page where you can pick up this game for yourself. All right, let's move to the above. The music below will keep your work discreet. Your opponent will be less considerate. I'll also mention, sorry, the, uh, the, the game is also 30% off on Nintendo Switch and Steam to celebrate the launch. They say that Osborne worked his way up from dancer to bouncer to owner. An American success story. Yes, though that version of the story leaves out a few unfortunate accidents. Accidents? Rooftop falls, dislocated limbs, gunshot wounds. I see. Hmm, the old uh, kill everyone in the hierarchy ahead of you kind of situation. The old dice with maneuver. I love a reference right there. I'm gonna throw that. Oh, why did I disarm myself just then? Oh, I crouch down for a second here. I think I actually may hit like a fair few weights on this one. Oh God, I'm not even gonna be able to close the gap correctly. All right, I stand, move. Takedown's too slow, but we get the parry off instead, then use the takedown. Great. Get back to my original gun. Now I've constantly got to be nervous of entries from behind as well. Uh, I've got three rounds left in this gun. That's definitely enough to continue using it for a bit. Um, move back towards this pillar, just in case. Hmm, what are these markings? Because they actually do show in the fog of war still. I wonder if they're relevant. Oh, it's a hexagon. <laughs> so it's the symbol for hex and hex related uh, the affiliates, I guess. Known hex associates. All right, good. Oh, oh. It's another interruption from far off. Oof. Uh, I, yeah, I can probably still see you despite crouching, but we get the 80% on the shot. Making it a lot more appealing to do. I really want to throw my gun. Wait, hang on. I stand up. Got him. Hit him with the gun. And now I get to go and try and close the distance for the reload. Wait, there's an enemy there. Why did I do that now? Okay, I got to wait a couple. Get the enemy to move to a more reasonable position for us. Perfect. That'll engage. Take you down and roll to the side. Thankfully, it looks like no enemies are... Wait, hang on. My gun had 15 rounds in it. Thank you. Actually, my gun has disappeared. I guess it's probably sitting on the same spot as that one. Yikes. Okay, I actually need to get a gun now. Uh... I'm gonna have to move closer and try and take this enemy out naturally as well. Cool, cool. That put me on top of my own gun, in fact. Which was just hidden in the fog of war. I... <laughs> totally forgot. Uh... Okay, I'm, I'm crouching to try and dodge the shot. That didn't work. All right, fine. I'll throw the gun. I forgot to reload there. So that's that's a big old MB right there. Stand up by my bad. Struck. Struck one more time. Nice. Get that handgun. I'm gonna try and get a little behind cover. Crouch down. I don't have the ability to do either of those things right now. Oopsie doopsie. Perfect. Uh, okay, so all of the rest of our mission should be up in this area. Still just have to keep watching my tail. I mean, that's a brawler. Eh, you know what? Come at me. See if I mind. Mm, 40% on the shots. I think I should go back and make sure that that doesn't become a problem for us. Crouch. Wait. 
couple. Stand up. That was too late. Crouch again. Stand up again. Crouch one more time and then take the shot. Dang. All right. I'm going to use the focus to actually get in a significantly better position. Take one more weight and then take the shot. Yeah. Okay. We've also got another target coming back out from the original area. I think I'll just hit weights for that too. Yeah, because this... Not like I had great cover I could have moved to at that point. Is that true? I don't know if that was true. Oh, wait a second. There's a revolver. I got 11 rounds left in my custom handgun, but that is a revolver. And I haven't used a revolver in this game yet. So they may have some completely different capabilities. They, they may fire faster. They may fire more things in individual. Uh, they may deal more damage. Oh. It is replay. Take the crouch. A few weights and then a strike and a takedown in the corner. Before returning to our original gun. Three rounds left in it. Not using any of them on the brawler effectively and efficiently before we use two on a far target. And then one, we're surprised by the fact that doesn't get the kill. We throw the gun, depriving ourselves of our best weapon at that point with 15 rounds still left in it. Thankfully, it's only a brawler that was going to be contesting us then. And then a ranger that we actually had line of sight advantage on the entire time. I crouch and stand a couple times because I have forgotten to reload. And have to rely on the good old face and throat punches as a direct result. Having now rested, refueled, and reloaded. Got a couple more enemies spawn back onto the map. It also looks like they all spawn simultaneously. So I imagine there are like individual spawn triggers. It may be your completion. It may be time. I'm not necessarily familiar with those yet. We take down the final target and ignore their revolver, but be quite sad about it as we're doing it. Make our way to the exit. Area complete. VIP, Osborne's enforcers are celebrating. They'll likely not be welcoming of gate crashes. That's okay, I don't require their cooperation. Okay, let's go for a takedown. Move to the side where I am less likely to be seen. That's fine. As long as you seal the gap yourself. All good. Was that one of the old uh, kick them to the side and then drop them on their neck for the instant break kind of sitch? Certainly looked like it. Okay, just getting the broad awareness that I need here. Uh, that might actually be like an interesting area. I want to see. Can I even access it? I can. Whoa. Thank heck I decided to, because otherwise this target really would have evaded my vision for a while. Okay. I just wanted to see if that had better visibility of all areas, like perhaps being a good shooting perch. Uh, so I can see you. You're in wait. Yeah, you've been activated, so feel free to take your approach. I am going to crouch. Actually, you know what? You're a brawler. Uh, this is not what I was hoping for. Uh, I can still get my takedown before you and then move out to this position. There's another brawler moving up on the left as well. Unfortunately, our focus is starting to deplete. I may want to take a shot on one of these. And then now that the other one has closed the gap, I'll use a parry before you can hit your strike and then take you down as well. Nice. Returning back to my original position. And then, honestly, even before moving, I'm going to hit a refocus. And I'm also going to hit a bandage. I probably should have moved more before that. Okay, yeah, an enemy definitely spawned as I was doing that, which tells me a little bit of something. Uh, it tells me that the spawns are very likely happening on time triggers. So the faster we complete, the less or fewer other enemies we'll likely have to face. Uh, take that crouch. 60. Not my best shot of all time. 
I love that that enemy was just standing there completely unaware for some reason. Uh, okay, we've got two coming in this way. One of them is probably a brawler. I'm going to stand up. Never mind. They are both shooters. Uh... In the time it takes me to take down the first one here, I'm going to start taking damage. I'm going to retreat for a second here. Because I can't take that much. Well, I was about to say I can't take that much damage, but I actually did use the bandages. Okay. I'm going to wait for a little bit more open of a position. Use a roll to emerge. Take the shot. And then I'm actually going to also roll to exit. Change our stance. There's two still incoming. Um, I've only got two left in this gun. So that means I use these two on a perfect kill. And then we throw the gun at the other enemy almost certainly. So uh, we're not great on perfect kills right now, are we? I'm going to crouch. I shoot at literally the same time as both of them. That's not good. Well, I hit my shot and they missed theirs. I'm going to take a follow-up shot. You're going to try and shoot me. So I'm going to stand and then throw this gun at you. Not fast enough. Get back to safety. Merge once more and then throw a gun. Oh, we missed and we deply uh, deprived ourselves of that gun. We're actually going to have to back up here. And now we're all good. Well, we were going to be all good. Damn. That's a lot more damage than I really wanted to take. By which I mean it is some damage and I didn't want to take any damage. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. In by two. Feels like that room is almost certainly going to have an enemy in it, right? Try and move around the outside, see if we have the possibility of just not even activating them. Never mind. Never mind. That was a fanciful idea, apparently. Okay, that is four rounds in a revolver. And I have four rounds in my current gun. Now, sure, I could go back and get a 10 rounder, but uh, I want to do this. We enter and do the initial takedown before a good old sweet meet the ground situation. Most popularized in the uh in in, in the Russian Mongolian War of 1492. Ah yes, yes, yes. The, the old hug into the roly poly. A very, very common maneuver for John Wick here was uh developed when a um when a child in the 1980s, actually, I believe it was 1986, uh, quite a large child uh, went to hug a friend in the in the playground and unfortunately approached them with too much momentum and discovered a new technique, a new martial technique that has taken the world by storm. Um, we can really only see it actually accounted for by enemies uh, later on in the... I want to say it was even 2010 until the Covington defense was uh, developed upon here. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like any of the enemies is trained in the uh, in the Bajik school. Where you typically learn that maneuver. We unfortunately broach a new pod of enemies here as we're about to get to our exit. Take two for the brawler and then both of the brawler. And it looks like a, a different enemy type. I've actually been kind of ignoring the specific enemy type of the green suits here. I should pay a little more focus to that. I've just been kind of instantaneously dealing death. Osborne. So Osborne was outraged at Wick's intrusion. Break into his club. Kill his men. The young caged bear decided to fight him. Osborne's tough. But he's not so smart. He's tough, but he's not so smart. Okay, I feel like there's going to be a lot of fancy footwork in this one. Okay, that security's still on guard. 
don't need to shoot. I don't need to alert anyone to my awareness. <laughs> Never mind. Uh... Okay, what's the activation? Whoa, the activation time for this is awful. Yikes! It kills in a single shot. It's got that as a benefit. Um, takes a million years to fire, apparently, though. I'm not going to be able to get out of your line of sight in any period of time. So what? I want to be moving when uh, when you do your fire? Fine. Dang. Uh, you're doing as well. Move. No, I didn't get it in time. No! It's <laughs> exactly what I didn't want to have happen. More certa order inserta. Death is certain, the hour is uncertain. Retry. We can't let John die, you kidding me? Then the movies don't happen. That's unacceptable in my mind. More men? Hello? Oh, sorry, I actually just hadn't clicked retry, apparently. I'm feeling more justified in the idea of like a pop them from far kind of sitch. Um, yeah, the crash there deprives me of too much line of sight. Whoa, you really are on the move, my man. Um, I'm gonna get all up close and personable. Take a crouch as we wait for. You're not really going to come on this. Okay, cool. Never mind. You're going to come on. There we go. So I can line up my shot before they line up there. Wow. They still get to take a shot before me. This revolver is not what I need. Maybe it would be a good weapon to take into a boss fight where like only when they're stunned am I really starting to attack them. So it really doesn't matter at that point, but that's that's all I can really think of. Okay, so it looks like there's an exit out the back as well. Let's hit a refocus while we have the ability. Okay, so the main area is not just flush with a bunch of enemies. Take the leftmost path here. I'm actually also going to make the effort to specifically go behind the bar, giving me access to some defensive tech if required. Oh, you heard a door open. No indicator showing us where the enemy is, though. I suspect it's probably down in this area. Okay. Keep making the approach. Score for this game was by Austin Wintry as well. You can hear it playing in the background at the moment. It's kind of surprising when I uh, when I read the the involvements like troy baker being the actor who's doing hex as well it's very very impressive this is also kind of like this is the way i would like to see movie tie-in games done because this isn't really like a tie-in specifically to the events of the individual movie itself but it finds ways to recontextualize through gameplay the things that made it filmically great because you can see the, the the kind of like gameplay choices here that are made you know, through the resource management, through the positioning aspects that are very much trying to nod towards and trying to invoke the feeling of uh, the John Wick fight scenes. I really, really appreciate that. Rather than effectively just trying to present the story of the film in a game, uh, interpreting it through the mechanics. It's a much... Much more successful avenue in my mind. Um, yeah, I'll take the throw. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. You're not a brawler. You're a security as well. Oh, that was bad. That was definitely bad. Um, all right. Up close to personal. I'm going to take that. Roll in this way. Thankfully, we were moving. I'm going to take this to pick up the... Why did I do that directly in front of an enemy? 
It even canceled my pickup action. What am I doing? What are you, what are you, what are you doing here, Raps? Yeah, shot straight in the head. <laughs> and I deserved it. Okay. Let's take our initial moves relatively similarly. Uh, take a couple weight actions here. So, hey, that's one thing about the revolver. The enemy shots don't interrupt my own. Wow. We've got a whiff. Oh, gosh. I'm going to take the 60. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. That was really bad. I I think literally, like, the point that I need to do here is uh, use this gun, take down the first two enemies with it, and then find absolutely anything else. It's actually, oh, there's Brawler. Let's go for the takedown and then move over this way. Change the stance to sit down and then take this shot initially. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna have to roll in order to try and actually avoid that one. Great, this is two times in a row there. Move over two spaces and then take the shot before the enemy can line up. Perfect, and then get a 10 as soon as possible. Also gonna move back to safety for a second here for a refocus. Whew. Okay, let's actually approach this in a different way this time. Uh, security guard that's currently trying to wait back there. I think I'm gonna wait for them to come through the door. They're gonna do it, it's the last known location for me. Uh, another enemy spawned directly after them, though. Yeah, that was really bullied none on my part. I'm gonna use my takedown location to get back on top of the gun. Pick that back up. The enemy down there. Oh my god, is that a second enemy down there that spawned? Okay, that's it. I just need to move faster. The amount of time that I'm spending waiting is just spawning more enemies. Uh, but I have to address them at some point. Otherwise, I just die, right? I just get flanked from both sides and just die, right? And just die and be dead and don't exist anymore and, and nurture the ground and dust to dust and et al and etc. and discover the afterlife. Turns out the afterlife is just a respawn. Handy and comforting. Uh, okay. Take the 60s on the long shot. I, oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This target's already deciding to shoot me. I can make the shot before you, though, thankfully. All right. Preventing your own. I really... Like, that brawler is on the move. Got another one coming over from the left. Seven rounds left in this gun. I'm going to take the instantaneous shot. Wait, so that's... Hang on, the brawler is... Oh, we're fine. Wait, no, 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 we're not fine. Uh, as long as we make one of these? Okay, great. We're fine now. Wait, we can't even parry before that brawler strikes. Yikes, I'm gonna have to dodge. Okay, I immediately got shot while trying to dodge there. Uh... Okay. Not how I wanted any of this to go. Okay, I'm going to move one space over and then I will just simply strike this enemy. I don't think my crouch is going to be enough to get the line of sight off of me of this enemy. I think I just have to try it though. It's not enough. Wait, it was enough. Unfortunately, I was still middle way through the action though. All right. Whoa, I actually missed with the thrown gun there. 
Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. In the time it takes me to pick up that gun, the enemy is going to close the distance and hit me. Take a second here to refocus. I don't think I have the time to bandage up yet. Okay, enemy is very close to doing their shoot. Uh, I have to parry, and yeah, they hit me beforehand. <sighs> okay, take the start of the mission a lot quicker. That's one thing we learned in the previous, right? We're just spawning a bunch more enemies as we take it slowly. Wow. Oh. The gun is so slow. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that at you. I no what don't want anything to do with that gun. I'm gonna take this one. This one looks better. Dodge out to the left. Maybe he's, uh, I didn't manage to move behind the door in time, but thankfully I will get the shots off in response. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for an early bandage here as well. Brawler managed to close the distance, but we've got a takedown going out before their own actions. Uh, and if I hide behind this pillar here, I should be able to close the distance, and that was bad. Thankfully, they were missing there as well. Close the distance and take you out, Malay. There's eight rounds left. Sorry, six rounds left in this gun. I probably should have swapped up the eight round gun then. Whoopsie doopsie. There's a revolver in the center of the map as well as a nine round gun. I may end up returning to that nine round gun. Let me shoot you straight up, spawn. No matter how many it takes. Three rounds left in this gun. I'm actually going to push the advantage right now. Uh, okay, there's Osborne, the boss. Security coming as well. Looks like we have another... That's a brawler. That's not as hard for us. Okay, I'm going to quickly move back to the door. Take a second to refocus. Change my stance down? Yeah, I probably should. Wait a turn or two. Revolvers. I mean, I really don't want to shoot you yet. Yeah, ideally I take that shot on that target. I'm going to roll forwards, getting you to miss. Stand up, and then I'm in the strike range of two targets right now, so I probably want to dodge one of them. Unless... Yeah, I can use the takedown and I can move out of the position doing that. Uh, that shoot action goes off in how many turns right now? I'm going to throw a gun at you, actually. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to have to go for a takedown because that shot did nothing. Strike you while you're on the ground as well. Perfect. And he's still holding a revolver. The strikes won't be able to deal damage to them. So I actually need to find another weapon here. Go to the inside. Pick up a 9mm automatic. And let's get behind the desk. Ah, uh, I was treating behind me as safe. Uh... Come on, that was a 90. Okay. I don't want to throw this gun here. So go for a strike. Crouch and you know, I'm gonna roll out of position, take the shot instantaneously. Perfect. Oh wow, target refocused. Uh, yikes, they're allowed to do that too, apparently. Right, I'm gonna roll behind this. I'm not gonna be able to refocus. I have to take a second to refocus here, otherwise, we're just already having a really bad time. I'm gonna crouch down. Roll over two spaces. Take this shot against the guard. And then now you're within melee. So if I stand back up, we can start going back for takedowns. Okay. And while you're on the ground, go for strike. And another. 
And then I'm going to start shooting you. One. No ammunition left in this gun already. Yikes. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to push. Okay, I'm going to use the push destination to push you two spaces ahead. Oh, it's really... A oh, right. It's my push destination I was determining there. I thought I was going to be able to move on top of the automatic. Wasn't capable of it. Enemy is doing some refocusing right now, but yeah, unfortunately, I do get to interrupt some of it, but not all of it. Take this approach to set up a takedown to move myself. Oh, not really as close as I needed to be there, unfortunately. We do get another refocus before he comes back into the room, though. I'm going to take one motion off to the side. That's not as good as I wanted, unfortunately. Thankfully, I still get my takedown before the enemy goes on their revolver shot because the revolver is very, very, very slow. Um, so to push here, I'm going to move myself forward one space, getting out of the room just in case anyone comes down from that direction. Unfortunately, they're coming from this direction. That's a security. They do have range. Uh, but I wonder if they'll be in time to save their boss. Apparently, they are. Perfect. Hey, error is complete. Let's watch that replay. Oh, we found a way to utilize the revolver at the very start. We uh, fired two bullets out of the revolver and then fired the biggest bullet you can when you throw it in an enemy's face. Unloaded a whole magazine. And yes, I know magazine isn't the right terminology to be using specifically for a revolver. Make our way around the left of the main area, taking out a spawning agent instantaneously before we broach the main room, seeing Osborne, as well as a security guard for them, moving off to the side so that we can wait for a moment, taking an opportune time to... Take out the ranged enemy with our own gun before rolling into and engaging in melee both the boss as well as the brawler. We take a look at focus away from Osborne as more cretins, more minions, more goons move into the map. We use, frankly, an unnecessary amount of shots there in order to take out two brawlers. Which is part of the reason we then have some ammunition concerns as we get the focus all away. And then only manage to fire two shots into... Osborne, before we have to start pushing him. We do get the reposition then, and at this point, it is now Osborne on the back foot. Loses all the rest of their remaining focus, and then gets hunted down by the ghost, the devil, Baba Yaga, John Wick himself. For the moment... My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been John Wick Hex. There is a playlist in the description down below with all of my content of the game past, present, past and present, rather. As well as, again, that link that you can find at the top of the description down below to pick up the game for yourself on Steam. It's currently 30% off on all platforms to celebrate the second wave of platform launches. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.